Hello everyone, oh my gosh, I'm here again. It is lovely to be back with you again for a Streetwise session. Uh, it's been great to share my cultural heritage with you. Thank you so much for coming along with me on this journey. It's been really fulfilling to explore really wonderful composers in more detail over the past few weeks with you too. In our first session, when we were looking at Ignacio Sancho, I mentioned the guitarist, composer and arranger Aitua. And Aitua is going to be joining us for Culture Club this week and next week, which is going to be a treat and definitely not to be missed. I'm also hoping to collaborate with Aitua over the next few weeks. We're hopefully going to be getting together via the magic of the internet uh, and looking at Sweetest Bard by Ignacio Sancho as well. We're going to start our session with a wonderful warm-up. It's a little bit of a bluesy warm-up today, so you're going to have to get your groove on. So let's get going by just sort of feeling the beat a little bit. Just either swaying side to side if you're seated or if you're standing up and you can, just stepping it out. Just bring your arms up into it as you walk. Very nice. Here we go, just copy what I'm doing and a little bit of Pulp Fiction arms going on. Get the head moving if you want to, very nice. Just change that to a swim. Good. Yeah. Okay, pointing from one side to the other. And lean into it. Feel the groove. Okay, we're going to flick our hands from ceiling to floor eight times. And again, eight times. Floor to ceiling eight times. Same thing, floor to ceiling. To one side of the room. Yes. And the other. Very nice. Let's breathe out. Try that. Now four. Long ones. Your turn. Taking a breath in for four beats and out. Let's do that again. In, out. Last time. In, out. One more time. In. Get ready to copy me and. those lips. Very nice. Yeah. 
feel like you are nice and warm now, which is great. Oh, let's get into it. This week we are looking at the life of George Bridge Tower. I want to go through again a bit of the history because it's so important the history that surrounds the time that these people existed in. So we discussed the transatlantic slave trade last week in our session about Jamaican folk songs and it was the trade that was in which millions of West Africans were captured by Europeans and also by their own fellow Africans and forced onto slave ships taking them to America and the Caribbean. Slavery however was not invented in 1500. It's something that has been around from the start of time and unfortunately it's something that's still around today. And it was never limited just to the transatlantic slave trade, but wherever people are in a position of power over other people, slavery has existed. Going back to Bridge Tower, there's been a lot of research done into George Bridge Tower from scholars and musicologists such as Dominique René de Lerma, who we actually encountered when we were doing the Unseen project, when we were discovering the music of Joseph Bollon, to Dr. Mike Phillips, who's given many talks and lectures about uh, Bridge Tower, some of which you can actually see online. So there's further research and further listening that you can do around the subject. Bridge Tower himself was born in 1778, uh, any time between 1778 and 1780, there's just varying uh, bits of information about his birth, but he was born in Poland. He was born to a father who was a potentially a runaway slave from Barbados, and his mother was a Polish woman known as Maria or Mary. Bridge Tower's father was in the employment of a uh, prince, Prince Esterhazy, whose family were, I, I was going to say, very musical, but actually I think they were just exceedingly rich and exceedingly privileged. Um, they had a family castle that had a theatre, a puppet theatre inside it, and also an opera house inside it, whose resident composer was Haydn. So that's the kind of uh, lifestyle that, uh, that we're talking about. And that's who employed Bridge Tower's father. Now, having all of that, it seems like it's obvious that this child, George Bridge Tower, was going to grow up to be the musical powerhouse that he was. Um, but what's really extraordinary is that he was still the son of a slave. Um, his father, Bridge Tower's father, seemed to create a position for himself that was quite high up with the prince. Um, and whether it was down to his father's ability to charm, his father uh, would often say that, oh yes, I am an African prince. He may well have been an African prince, but this his father had this sort of, this gift of charm about him. Um, so whether it was because of his father's charm and the fact that his mother was a white woman, uh, that the young Bridge Tower was able to gain a musical education. And not only that, he became a child prodigy. He gave his first violin recital at the age of nine, which is quite extraordinary. I tried to play the violin when I was about 11. It didn't go so well. I don't play it now. I'm a singer and there's a reason for that. <laughs> because of uh, the young Bridge Tower's musical ability and his father's ability to schmooze, Bridge Tower and his father ended up in England under the patronage of the Prince Regent. And he eventually went on to perform all over Europe, meeting Beethoven, whose violin sonata number no. nine, which is known as the Kreutzer Sonata, was in fact premiered by and originally dedicated to Bridge Tower. Here is a clip of the violinist Randall Gooseby and pianist Zhu Wang performing a snippet of the sonata.
it's just a wonderful, wonderful piece. That clip is on YouTube. It's about half an hour long. Uh, we'll have links to all of these things and do, if you can, while you're, while you're doing something else and you just feel like having a little listen, listen to the whole thing. It is phenomenal. Uh, the comments under the video are really interesting as well. One person <laughs> says, do you understand how difficult this piece is to learn? I can't tell you how hard most people give up. It's absolutely fascinating. Dr. Mike Phillips, the researcher and musicologist, he said the story that he tells about it or the story that he told a couple of people later on was that when they played, Beethoven had not yet finished the violin part and he improvised a particular passage and this pleased Beethoven so much that he jumped up exclaiming, noch einmal, mein lieber Busch, noch einmal, which is essentially play it again, Sam. Then they had a row. Beethoven crossed out the dedication to Bridge Tower which was something sort of silly, something like a mulatto sonata composed for the mulatto bridge tower, who is a great fool and a mulatto composer. He crossed all of that out and dedicated it to Rudolf Kreutzer, which is why it's called the Kreutzer Sonata, who was a premier player and who, when he sent it to him, when Beethoven sent it to him, sent it to Rudolf, he said it was unplayable and sent it back. Now, during the Unseen Project, we've talked about how inspiring it can be to see people who are like yourself or see yourself reflected in people doing wonderful and extraordinary things. And Randall Goosby is one such inspiration. Like I said, I tried to play the violin when I was little. It was not my instrument, but it is obviously Randall Goosby's instrument. Do look him up on Google. He's extraordinary. There are also many people out there who believe in the importance of diversity in the arts, and the Chineke Foundation is one of those organisations. Here is a clip about the Chineke Foundation. Chineke exists to try and redress the balance of who plays and does not play or is involved in classical music. Classical music is seen as very highbrow, exclusive music for only particular kinds of people, but that I think it's time to change those perceptions. Why do we need a Chineke Foundation? We need it because there are so many musicians out there that for some reason aren't coming forward. And I know for a fact that there are many of the reasons are because they feel their colour is getting in the way in some way or other. Now, this should be the last reason for people not to enjoy the wonderful world of classical music. So, I pulled together 62 musicians that did the inaugural concert and it turned out that out of those 62 people, 62 musicians, there were 31 nationalities, which is incredible really. We field a professional orchestra and then what? Who's going to be coming through? And so I realised I had to do two things at once and create a junior orchestra. The educational side of this is absolutely key because we need to keep that pathway open. There's a whole wealth of younger children at lower grades who are dying to play now with Chinake. And the amount of calls I've had and emails I've had from people I've still not yet met saying, gosh, if something like that had existed, like Chinake had existed when I was a child, lear you know, learning an instrument, I might have followed it through, but I felt that there was nowhere for me to go. Chineke. 
Chinookate champions change and celebrates diversity in classical music. goodness it absolutely fills my heart it really really does absolutely does oh right it's time to teach you a little bit of music now we are going to have a go at uh learning henry a ballad which is a piece of music that was actually composed by bridge tower himself there is apparently a book of songs composed by him. But this, as far as I'm aware, is the only one that I have been able to find. I am going to do some digging. I am gonna put a call out to other people to do some digging as well. I hope we can find some more. But this is called Henry, a ballad as sung by Miss Ferron. So I shall sing it for you today. the following words. It goes, you call me fickle, cruel youth, and doubt my love and constancy, my love and constancy. But sure, that tongue is void of truth, is void of truth, and speaks and falsely speaks of me, Henry, Henry, and falsely speaks of me, Henry. The first rhythm goes like this, you call me fickle, Cruel youth. Try that. You call me fickle, cruel youth. Fantastic. We get the same rhythm as well. You call me fickle, cruel youth. Try that. You call me fickle, cruel youth. Okay, I'm going to have a go. 
and singing a bit lower today goes like this you call me fickle cruel youth have a go at that with me ready to three you call me fickle cruel youth very nice one more time ready to three you call me fickle cruel youth very nice goes up for the next bit you call me fickle we've got a lovely falling phrase there i'll do it again you call me fickle try that with me ready and you call me fickle there you go then it finishes off with cruel youth try that one for me two three and cruel youth fabulous from this little bit let's do those two bits together you call two three you call me fickle cruel youth let's go back to the beginning stitch that all together ready two three and you call me fickle cruel youth you call me fickle cruel youth make sure you give it a big cr cr a crunchy cr sound on that cruel youth just to really get the point across <laughs> The next bit is, and doubt my love and constancy, my love and constancy. The second time we say the word constancy, it's a lot swifter. Constancy. So if you can really spit out those words, just try it for me, ready? And constancy. One more time. Constancy. There you go. We've got, and doubt my love. And doubt my love and constancy. I'll do that again. Two, three, and doubt my love and constancy. Try that with me. Ready, two, three, and doubt my love and constancy. There you go. The next bit goes like this. My love and constancy. <laughs> with that fast little constancy going on there. Let's try that one again. Ready, my love and constancy. Fabulous. Let's go from and doubt, two, three, and doubt, my love and constancy, my love and constancy. There we go. Let's go from the beginning and stitch all of that together. Otherwise, we'll forget what the beginning sounded like. <laughs> Let's do it, shall we? Ready, two, three. You call me fickle, cruel youth. You call me fickle, cruel youth. And doubt my love and constancy, my love and constancy. Very nice. We've got some really beautiful flowing little bits of melody coming up. Have a listen to it. This is But Sure That Tongue Is Void Of Truth. But sure that tongue is void of truth. Let's start at the end of that phrase. Let's do the void of truth. Try that with me. Ready? And void of truth. Sometimes it's good to know where you're heading to before you do the beginning bit. Let's do void of truth one more time. Ready? And void of truth. Very nice indeed. Have a listen to the pattern of but sure that tongue. It's a really nice but sure that tongue is really weaving through the lines and up and down. If you're a lower voice and you want to sing it down here, that's fine. I'll sing it down here for now. It goes like this but sure that tongue is. Try that again with me, two, three. But sure that tongue is. Then we add void of truth. Let's add that all together. From but sure or but sure if you're down here. Ready, two, three. But sure that tongue is void of truth. Very nice. 
nice. Then we get an absolute flourish. And you know I have this fan. I've got to do that for this flourish. It's got a proper flourish going on. <laughs> it sounds like this. It's not too scary. His void. Sounds like, oh, when the saints go marching in. So it's his void. Just sing that for me. Ready, two, three. His void. Fantastic flourish time approaching. His void. We're going to stay on this top note a little bit. Void of truth. Think about where the pattern is. So it starts here. It goes down steadily, dips to come back up and then resolves, that would be called resolves, slips home. So void of truth, let's just do that a couple of times, is void, ready and is void, the void of truth. Very nice. Okay, I'm going to sing the whole of that little phrase from Is Void. Ready at Is Void, Is Void of Truth. So slow down that flourish and then it won't feel so bad. <laughs> Let's go from But Sure That Tongue Is Void of Truth. It's this little bit. A little bit of a hill and gully ride, as my dad would say. <laughs> but sure that tongue is void of truth. Flourish is void, is void of truth. Amazing. Very, very nice indeed. We're going to stitch that together from the beginning. It's slow going, guys. It's slow going. But you know what? It's worth it. It's going to sound fantastic when we put it all together. Ready, steady, off we go, you call me fickle, cruel youth, you call me fickle, cruel youth, and doubt my love and constancy, my love and constancy, but sure that tongue Very nice. The next little bit goes like this. And speaks and falsely speaks of me. That speaks and falsely speaks of me. I like that rhythm. Let's try just speaking it. Ready. And that speaks and falsely speaks of me. That speaks and falsely speaks of me. Same rhythm both times. Same melody both times. Hurrah. Sounds like this. That speaks and falsely speaks of me. That speaks and falsely speaks of me. I'll do that again. Ready, two, three. That speaks and falsely speaks of me. That speaks and falsely speaks of me. I really like that bit. That's quite got, got a good groove going on to it. <laughs> Let's try that again. Ready, two, three. That speaks and falsely speaks of me. That speaks and falsely speaks of me. Then you get, this, get to say the name. Henry, Henry. Happens twice. A little bit like... A bit like Jaws, but the other way around. Henry, Henry. There you go. So it's a bit of a break in between. Ready and Henry and Henry. Have a listen. And falsely speaks of me, Henry. I'll do that again. And falsely speaks of me, Henry. Again, figuring out where that pattern goes helps. And falsely speaks of me. There's the drop. Of me. Of me. Okay. And falsely speaks of me, Henry. Let's go from the that speaks and falsely speaks of me, shall we? It goes like this. Two, three. That speaks and falsely speaks of me. That speaks and falsely speaks of me. Henry, Henry, and falsely speaks of me, Henry. Amazing. 
Let's go from the very beginning of that first verse, see if we can stitch that all together from the top. From you call me fickle, cruel youth, you call me fickle, cruel youth. Get some attitude into it if you can. Two, three. You call me fickle, cruel youth, you call me fickle, cruel youth, and doubt my love and constancy, my love and constancy, but sure that tongue is void of truth, is void, is void of truth. Very good, carrying on. That speaks and falsely speaks of me, that speaks and falsely speaks of me, Henry, Henry, and falsely speaks of me, Henry. Ah, yes. The great thing about this is that the other verses are exactly the same melody, pretty much, apart from the very, very end, pretty, pretty much. So I'm just going to go very, very quickly through the second and the third verse. The next bit goes like this. You tell me blushes flush my cheek. You tell me blushes flush my cheek. Same little melody as the stars. Let's just go straight into it. Join in, join along, sing along. Don't worry if you get it wrong. There's no wrong and there's no right. Just singing. It's fantastic. It's good. Two, three. You tell me blushes flush my cheek. You tell me blushes flush my cheek. Different rhythm. When others to my praise incline. I like that bit. Try that with me too. When others to my praise incline, to my praise incline, oh yes, and why I'll truly speak, I'll truly, truly speak. Same flourish there. Let's go from because, same little bouncy thing in this one as well, because I hate all praise but thine. Ready, two, three. Because I hate all praise but thine. Because I hate all praise but thine. Henry, Henry, I hate all praise but thine. Henry. So that's the second verse. Let's just do the whole of that second verse one more time. You tell me blushes. Ready, two, three. You tell me blushes, flush my cheek. You tell me blushes, flush my cheek. When others to my praise incline, to my praise incline. Oh yes, and why I'll truly speak, I'll truly, truly speak. Because I hate all praise but thine, because I hate all praise but thine, Henry, Henry, I hate all praise but thine, Henry. Oh yes, final verse coming up, I like this final verse as well. Again, just a little bit different in the rhythm stakes. Then hush, ah oh, hush, each idle fear. So it's got a little bit more of a playful rest in the middle of those two. At then hush, ah oh, hush. Try that with me. Ready, two, three. Then hush, ah oh, hush, each idle fear. Same thing. Then hush, hush, each idle Let's just do that little bit one more time because that's a bit different from before. Ready, two, three, then hush, ah hush, each idle fear, then hush, hush, each idle fear, and bid each jealous pain, adieu. Well, that one's different. Adieu, not adieu, not, mm, not one of those, adieu means business today. And bid each jealous pain adieu, each pain same adieu. Well done. My heart, my soul is thine, my dear, is thine, is thine, my dear. Did you 
notice that I carried on D is thine ever so slightly different. If you don't get that that first time, don't worry about it. Have another go in a bit. Oh, we get to my favourite little rhythm, my bouncy rhythm. You know I like bouncy rhythms. We've got this. I live and only live for you. I live and only live for you. Got that twice. Henry, Henry, and only live for you. Henry. You think it's finished, but it's not. We've got another couple of Henrys. So we've got. And, oh, and only live for you. Henry, another. Henry, another. Henry. She's getting a bit more agitated. Then we get this wonderful little finish to phrase. Phrase to finish. Ooh, swapsies. And only live for you, Henry. <laughs> Love that bit. And only. That is Jaws this time. Just on those two notes. And only live for you, Henry. Oh, yes, fantastic. Let's just do that final verse all the way through. And then I'm going to tell you what we're going to be doing in the Golden Spanner Room. So let's go off from this third verse. Ready, two, three, then hush, ah, oh, hush. Each I do fear, then hush, hush. Each I do fear. And bid each other's pain adieu, each pain adieu. My heart, my soul is thine, my dear, is thine, is thine, my dear. Get a breath. I live and only live for you, I live and only live for you, Henry, Henry, and only Another Henry and only live for you, Henry. Oh, fantastic work. We are going to be going over into another private Zoom meeting, which we are affectionately calling the Golden Spanner. We'll tell you why another week, but for now it will be a mystery. Uh, but we're going to go into a private Zoom. Please join us in there. It would be great to see you. We're going to sing through this. We're going to talk a little bit about vocal technique if you've got any problems while you're trying to learn this. There's a lot of breathing going on in this. But I just also wanted to tell you about other people who have been inspired by George Bridgetower's story. And composers have been inspired. Uh, a composer, performer, presenter, jazz pianist extraordinaire, Julian Joseph, in fact, wrote a jazz opera called Bridgetower, a fable of 1807, starring jazz singer and all-round general cool dude. Uh, Cleveland Watkiss and myself. It was an English touring opera production. Some of you might know English touring opera already through the work that we did together with English touring opera and Streetwise Opera in the Silver Lake a couple of years ago. Here's a snippet of that opera that I had no idea existed on the internet. Never Google yourself. Never Google yourself. Um, I was starring as Mary Prince, who was a rescued African slave real person, uh, Mary Prince, who was a rescued African slave, whose recounting of her experiences of slavery uh, helped the abolitionists in the UK. They wrote it down in a book. And Cleveland Watkiss as Bridge Tower. Enjoy. Oh, no, no, no. You don't want to see. Your vision is only pride. What do you know of who I am inside? You curse me with my master's voice as if I had a greater choice than any slave. Don't speak of choice to me. A runaway can only choose to I chose life, I chose to survive and to be alive, waiting for you when you are tired. You chose the life of me. Spend your days in a sea of praise, and that is where your story ends. Every day you 
was a knife in my heart Every day my soul burned just like you I can't see what you see But if the tables turn You will choose to live just like me Just like me Oh, I was grooving there. I was grooving there. You caught me. I was <laughs> I was getting into it. Oh, it's on YouTube. I might listen to it another time. But uh, for now, oh my goodness, thank you so much for being with us again today. Everybody say thank you, Ray, for your amazing technical wizardry. We're going to jump over into the other room, the after party golden spanner room, and we're going to speak a little bit more about Bridge Tower, answer some questions, sing through Henry again. Oh, it's been a pleasure as usual and we will see you soon. Take care. Bye.